looked like a rat sheep the same year it was created in 2005. 18 months later, Google bought YouTube. YouTube went from platform of amateur videos to a powerhouse of original content. But the question is, why people started to love YouTube? because of its original content, especially that today, Google actually bought the platform into something new. It gave opportunity to normal viewers and consumers to be the actual content creators. And this is what we call YouTubers nowadays. They get paid through the advertisement played during and before their contents on YouTube. This is where our second reason enters. YouTubers get paid through advertisement and it is possible because of YouTube's powerful brand. YouTube as an online video platform where you find you are much effective in conveying messages to the audience, actually explaining the physical attributes of what it is that they are promoting. So it's very much effective when it comes to advertisement. So this is how YouTube got investors. And because of this, YouTubers get paid. Third is because of its variety of content. You can almost find everything you want on YouTube. From entertainment to educational. If you want something fun, sharing platform in the world. It has 2 billion users who visit the platform month. So let's travel back in time to see the highlights of this giant social media platform. It all began in 2004 when the first CEO, Chad Hurley, Steve Chen, and Javed Karim had an idea to create a website for users to upload video dating profiles. Yes, YouTube started as a video dating app, but people paid less attention to this website. So the co-founders were forced to take out advertisements to pay women $20 for every video that they can upload. With money as a reward, people have started uploading different kinds of videos. Instead, in 2005, the Oma Capital partner, Roy Love Bora, has invested $3.5 billion in YouTube. Then, a video of a Nike ad went viral and hit 1 million views. And this demonstrated the power of YouTube's role in marketing and virality. Then in 2006, Susan Ujitsky has convinced Google to purchase YouTube for $1.65 billion. The same year, YouTube and NPC made a deal to help promote the network. This marked out the move of helping the traditional media enter the new digital age. In 2007, Apple launched its first iPhone model. So they made the YouTube's mobile site a natural transition due to the depiction that mobiles will be a huge market. At the end of 2007, YouTube rolled out its partner program allowing them to earn money from advertisements that will get viewed on their content. The platform teamed up with Vivendi Media Company to launch music videos called Vebo to prevent piracy and unfair licensing terms. So when you see Vebo below a music video, you know it's legit. In 2010, Felix Kalberg under the channel link PewDiePie was the first to provide video game commentary and he surpassed 100 million subscribers later. In 2011, YouTube enters broadcast company by launching YouTube Live and many have streamed online ever since. Year 2015, YouTube has made YouTube Kids that filters abusive content for their age. 2016, YouTube has changed its stricter policies because some companies have tried to pull out their advertisements due to some offensive and abusive contents uploaded by content creators. Now, 2020, Google breaks out the video platform's ad revenue and YouTube have generated $14 billion in 2019 alone. So that is the brief history and highlights of YouTube, my dear friends. YouTube is used to watch music videos, comedy shows, how-to guides, recipes, and more. Teens also use the video sharing service to follow their favorite YouTubers and subscribe to other vloggers and celebrities they are interested in. Top 3 newest YouTube features Number 1. 
new types of parts. Promoting your content is one way of ensuring you will keep your current users and you increase the number of new viewers. The new types of parts will make it possible to promote other contents, sell merchandise, raise funds, and more. Number 2. Better live streams, entertainment, learning, gaming are part of the delivery system. Content creators, whether it be video, apps, or games, will now have an easier time of setting up and managing their live streams. The company also announced the upcoming YouTube gaming app to take the improved live stream technology for a ride. Number 3. Updated Creator Academy An undeniable fact about the internet is the way it has democratized education. Users from around the globe can now access free classes from Harvard to Stanford and almost everyone in between. Wow! The Creator Academy added more than 50 lessons and features designed to find what you want to learn more quickly. YouTube versus TikTok TikTok has a smaller audience because it has only gotten big last year and YouTube is big for a while. TikTok has a video limit of 3 to 60 seconds, while YouTube offers a limited time frame for YouTubers to make their content. So for you, TikTok or YouTube? Now that we're already done with the history and the description of this platform, we will now compare it to other applications. So why does YouTube consider it as the best video sharing app? Almost 79% of internet users have their own YouTube account and it is believed to be the second most popular platform in the world. The fact that there are over 2 billion people watch videos on YouTube every month. There are lots of video sharing apps bombarded in the internet just like Vimeo and TikTok. But Vimeo is only an alternative of YouTube for some users because it does not feature advertisement that would interrupt them from watching contents. The only downside of this app is that users can only upload and watch unlimited videos if they pay and upgrade their account. Unlike YouTube, everyone is free to watch and share their contents. TikTok on the other hand is now becoming a popular social media platform because of its fun and creative video filters just like this. But there are some reported issues regarding this site. Some of these are privacy and security concerns. Because of this, some countries already banned TikTok. Other video sharing apps are Vistia, Brightcube, Hippo Video, Sprout Video, GoPlayer, and Uscreen. But users of this app is only a small percentage of the enormous number of consumers on YouTube. YouTube is very essential for us nowadays because it is already becoming a platform for education, information, entertainment, and business. This app also opened its window for aspiring talents to share their creativity in the world. Justin Bieber, Marshmallow, Blackpink, and Ed Sheeran are just some of those talented individuals who became famous and rich because of YouTube. There is also a prediction that YouTube will fully dominate television. After betting that mobile space for a decade, we can now also watch videos from this site through our smart TV screens. It is not possible that it will also dominate TV channels because YouTube have an overwhelming number of contents that you can watch anytime. So the question is, will YouTube become the future of television? Let's see. Stay safe, stay home, stay entertained people, and stay tuned with your favorite online video platform. YouTube. YouTube.